Have you met Plant the Botanical Sensation? Giving Farmer Nick a green education. From soil to sun, they learn together. Their plant explorer, there's no one better. So grab your garden tools before our team song ends. We're on a plant adventure with new friends. Hi, Plant. Hi, Farmer Nick. What are you doing today? I thought we could go to the beach today. It's a beautiful day and you can get all the water and sun you could ask for. I am not going to the beach. Why not? Look at this sand. It's fantastic. I bet you'd love it too. Going into the sand might actually be bad for me. Bad for you? How could sand hurt a plant? Don't you live in the ground? Well, you see, Farmer Nick, different plants need different types of soil in order to grow healthy and strong. Sand might not be the best soil for me. Wait, wait, wait. What is soil? Is it just the same as dirt? Just dirt? Soil is the foundation for all of plant life, Farmer Nick. Whoa, I had no idea. Tell me more, plants. It's made up of air, water, and rocks in the ground and tiny little creatures called the microorganisms or organic matter. Wow, organic matter, a whole new world. How come I can't see it? It is too small to see with your eyes. You need a microscope. Whoa, are all soils the same? Are there different kinds of soil? There are all kinds of soils and it depends on where you live, what your climate is like, and what rocks are buried underneath the ground. There are all types of soils that help plants grow. So the soil in the United States is different than the soil in Zimbabwe? Oh yes, there are so many different types of soil, even here in California. I bet you there's different soil in the backyard and the front yard. No way. How can I see it? I have a great idea, Farmer Nick. Let's get our hands dirty and explore which type of soils are best for different plants. That sounds exciting. What do we need for the experiment, plants? We'll need two clear jars or containers, a jug of water, a marker, and soil, of course. You get soil from near the beach, and I'll get soil from the backyard. Then we'll compare them and see what we learn. Okay, plant, I'm off to get soil. What happened, Farmer Nick? I started digging, and then something knocked my hat into the hole. Maybe it was the magical garden gnome. He's so mischievous. The magic garden gnome? That's not a real thing. Yes, it is. He watches over the garden and likes to play tricks. Whatever you say. Anyway, I fell into the hole and got really dirty. You probably just dropped your hat, but it's okay to get dirty sometimes. We can always clean up after. What do we do now? Let's go to the workbench. To the workbench! All right, do you have one cup of soil from the beach and one cup of soil from the backyard? I do. I've got my one cup of backyard soil and I've got my one cup of beach soil. Fill the rest of the container with water, seal the container really tight and give it a good shake until it turns into a murky mess. Look, I'm doing the soil shake. All right, that's enough shaking. Now put them down on a flat surface for one minute. Great. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to do some jumping jacks. Great job and good exercise. Gardening is hard work, but look at our soil. It looks so different already. It does. Using your marker, mark the first settled layer. This is the sand layer, which is very coarse and grainy. Once you've marked it, let it sit for another two hours. Two hours? What should I do for two hours? Maybe I'll do an art project. Oh wow, what did you make? Oh, just a little bit of doodling. Oh my gardenia, that is incredible. Maybe you should be an artist instead of a farmer. Nah. Let's take a look at our jars. 
Now with your marker, mark the top of the next settled layer. This is the silt layer, which is smaller than the sand. You're gonna leave it on the flat surface for another 48 hours. 48 hours? How am I gonna pass the time for 48 hours? Maybe take a nap? That's not a bad idea. Many hours later. <sighs> wow, you really fell asleep for two whole days, Farmer Nick. Gardening is tiring work, but how does our soil look? The final layer is ready to mark. This is the clay layer, and it's the smallest. Now that you have all three layers, you can identify what kind of soil you have. Try and see which is the biggest and which is the smallest. Look, plant, the soil from the beach is very grainy and has lots of sand in it. That's right, Farmer Nick. Sand doesn't hold a lot of water and nutrients for plants like me to survive. So that's why I don't want to go to the beach. But what about the other soil plant? Is it any better? The soil from the backyard has a good balance of clay, silt, and sand, and has lots of organic matter, which is great for plants like me. I never realized soil was so important. Thanks for teaching me, plant. You're welcome, Farmer Nick. Now you know that choosing the right type of soil is very important to plants like me. From now on, I know which type of soil to give the plants so they can all thrive, and we will not go to the beach. That's the facts, Farmer Nick. But we can still go to the beach as long as you keep me in my pot. Deal. Does your pot float? Maybe we could go swimming. No swimming for me, Farmer Nick. I am not an aquatic plant, and the salt water is not good for me either. First no sand and now no water? I thought plants love the water. Plants are so confusing. Don't worry, Farmer Nick. We'll learn about water soon. But if you want to learn more about plants, we have to go back to the very beginning. To the beginning of what? Of life as we know it. It all started with a seed. Ah, I'm so excited.